exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts a defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Browns take over his first down. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And that's incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. On third down, Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty is going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. Mayfield throwing complete there to Hooper. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 more on that one and another first down. First down, Cleveland. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs seven, Browns nothing. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Mayfield off the play fake. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. First and goal. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. To throw, Mayfield. It's a loss of 11 on the play. And that'll bring up a second and goal. It's now second and goal. Play fake, Mayfield. That is incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. But now it's third and goal. Incomplete. It's third down and goal. They go play action. Mayfield on the move to his left. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. The kick by Parkey is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. 
Browns. Well, that's something of a pick-me-up, and the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems the either. Over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. On second and two, Mahomes. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. To Clyde edwards Elair. It's a loss of two. Brings up third and four. Now here's Mahomes. Forced out to his left. He is going to find Hill here. And now look at him go. 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 69 yards, and the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Butker on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Makes the score, Chiefs 14, Browns 3. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken in the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Sliding out of the pocket. This is the tight end, Njoku. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. Mayfield on play action. Rolling to his left. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off course. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Field hands it off to Chubb, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Mayfield looks to throw, steps away to his left. The Kansas City defense tough to throw on there, and now it's fourth down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at about the 31. And he will take this all the way down to the 38-yard line. 
That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. The bottom line, you can see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. From the 36, Mahomes dancing to his left. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. For Travis Kelsey, incomplete. Sets up fourth down. Well, they'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. On first down, Mahomes flush to his right. And he's got it. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. First and goal at the So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Butker's kick here is good. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Harrison Butker to kick off four games. The Browns going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. Fielded in the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play call. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And that to his running back, Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. Now he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He may try and run for this. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. At the 38-yard line. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Well, there's times when you see these catches that are made, and we just know the guys playing it are really wishing for college rules. Only need that one, one foot, foot down instead of two. It's awfully difficult on the sideline, isn't it? 
Mahomes firing complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Demarcus Robinson. 